ever ran into a situation where you're wiring up your car or possibly building a car like I'm doing right here. This is a 34 Ford kit car, fiberglass. A lot of people out there doing this at home, trying to get her done and do it right. But uh, if you got a classic car or let's just say that you're adding something to your existing electrical system and, and you're running into a situation that says, you know what, I want to be able to take that in and out the easy way. And when I say that, I'm talking about hardwiring the item into the vehicle, but if you have to remove your dashboard like we got on this car, or you have to uh, remove something of the sort, and that item that you installed is in the way, have you ever tried to figure out how can I do this, how can I install this, where it's just a one, two, three, thank you ma'am, bam, bam situation that says I can remove that with no problems at all. Have you ever been down that road of electrical automotive wiring? Uh, what we're going to do today is my friend Pete's going to show you and give you the inside tech tip secret trick of how to wire up that item. And we're going to be working on this item right here. This is the air conditioner uh, control panel. And the way that it sits right now, it's pretty much wired in where you've got to remove every single one of these wires and then actually install it and then wire it back in. I'm going to show you a very, very simple, easy trick of how to wire that item up and uh, be done with it. So if you ever have to remove that, if you have to remove a, a dash panel or a kicker panel or something and there's an electrical item into it, I'm going to show you what to use, how to do it, make it easy and simple on you or the next owner that owns your vehicle of uh, what can we say, get her done, do it right, because if you ain't doing it right, you ain't fucking doing it at all. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. So what we're looking at here, this is going to be our, an example that we're going to use for this little video tech tip. And what this is, this is an aftermarket air conditioner control panel uh, that we are installing into this car. And if you look right here, you can see there's, there's, there's a bunch of wires, all right? There's a bunch of wires hooked up to it. And if we ever had to remove this out of the vehicle to remove our lower panel, it's going to go right in this area here. We would literally have to pull the panel back, undo every single wire, remember where all them wires went, and then when we went to put it back in, of course, plug it back in. Well, what we're going to do to fix that problem, we are going to use a 9-pin connector. This is a 9-pin connector that you can purchase at any electronic outlet that sells electronic uh, components such as diodes, possibly computer parts, this, that, and the other, and if you can't find a place in your town you can get online and buy these. They cost around anywhere from two dollars to five dollars. This one here is a I believe this is a four dollar fifty cent item right here and what we're going to do with this we're going to make this real simple and easy so when we have to remove our control panel all we have to do is take it like that unplug it and bam 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 we're done. So let's get on it and let's get her done as my friend Pete takes you through the situation of saying it's done right. We're going to go ahead and cut all our wire ties off. And you can actually do this if you are wiring your car up brand new. Um, go through your car, see what kind of components you have, and, and, and calculate how many uh, uh, connectors you're going to need. Uh, they, they come all the way from two connectors all the way up to 12. This is a nine. All right, if you look right here, you can see there's nine holes there. Yeah, nine holes. There you go. And uh, very, very uh, handy items. So we're going to cut all our wires loose, get them all out of the way, just like I'm doing here, so we can separate everything. And if you pay real close attention, you can already see that I added one right here. Uh, this is a four-wire connector, and this actually is a connector that goes to the, uh, electron the electricity of it. This is uh, our hot wire, our ground wire, and a couple other wires that go to our... 
uh, let's see, our, our fan. So this is our fan control wire, and it's a different code, so you won't have any problem of uh, hooking it up wrong. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that, and then what we're going to do, and I advise you before you do this, disconnect your battery in case there's any hot wires or power going to your unit that you are wiring up. So once you disconnect the battery, basically all you got to do is we're going to make it the same length as this one. So we want to go ahead and cut that off approximately right here, just like that. And then we also got one more wire right here. And then I noticed there's two wires, three, four, three wires down here, but this already has a connection on it. So we'll go ahead and leave that alone. So in reality, to wire this one up, we only need a five uh, connector on that. That's a five uh, pin connector. But uh, the only one I got available is the nine, so we're going to go ahead and put a nine on there. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and add these ones, which would actually take up eight. Uh, you know what? Why don't we go ahead and, well, the wires aren't really long enough to do that, so we're just going to go ahead and leave it as it is, and then we'll go ahead and connect this one up. Or actually, you know what I could do is this one's got four, and then we got five here. I could go ahead and eliminate this one completely, and then all we'll have is one plug. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Let's just go ahead and eliminate this one here completely. We'll take that off, leaving enough wire so I can reuse it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, take this one off as well. So we're going to cut this one off right here. And then we'll just have one plug for the whole thing, and that'll uh, give us two plugs instead of three. And then pretty much, it's, it's real simple from there, um, basically self-explanatory. What you're going to do is you're going to take your 9-pin uh, connector or whatever you're working with, find the center of that connector, and then go ahead and cut your wires in half, all right, just like that. And now what we got, we got the uh, male and the female. And all we got to do is basically wire them up to these wires, follow our color code that we're going with, and wire them up to these wires. Let me get that wired up. We'll be back in a minute once I get done. Finally got done wiring everything up. Uh, let me put one more wire tie on that. Um, let's see, here's one right here I guess we can use. And I like to use wire ties. I don't like to use black tape because eventually black tape will deteriorate and it comes loose and it just looks real sloppy. Black tape to me is nothing but a waste of time and energy and uh, I tend to stay away from black tape as much as possible. So, what we got here, if you look right there, we went ahead and added our uh, nine pin. Now, we used eight of them, uh, so we still got one left just in case there's something else that we want to hook up. And I'm looking right here at the lights. If the owner wants the little LED lights to hook up and work, we can go ahead and use them for that, possibly, and then uh, run our ground wire into our white wire here, which is a ground wire on this system. And then I also went ahead and wired this up as well. So now you can see that by uh, doing what I just did, let me get this lined up because it only lines up one way, and it actually locks in place. You want to get the pin connectors that have the little lock on them, 
make sure that it locks in place. And now you can see that it is a unit that is installed in the vehicle, but if for some reason down the line, like we're going to have to do several times here, uh, we can just go ahead and unplug this one plug here, just like that. Then we'll come over here to our factory plug that came with the unit, and we will unplug that as well, if I can get it. There you go. And then what we have is we have our wire harness right here, which is still hooked up to all of our electricity, and we have our panel, which is now loose from the vehicle and is uh, removable very easy and very simple. Now, of course, on the air conditional control, we still got our temperature uh, rod right here that goes into the unit, so you'd have to pull that out. But, uh, yeah, that's a good example of what the situation is by using this type of a system and doing something that says, you know what, I'm not screwed. My friend Pete showed me how to do it right. And if you look right here, you can see here is another uh, 12 pin. This is a 12 pin, and this actually goes to our gauges. Let's go look at the gauges, and I'll show you how those are hooked up. So there's our dash panel right there, and here's our gauges that we wired up. These are the Autometer Big Face gauges, high performance, really beautiful, nice gauges. I love them. And uh, if we look back here, let's go ahead and tip that over without fucking it up. Uh, hang on one second. Manny, come here. All right, so if we look right here, you can see that this is wired in as well. This is an extra wire that we're not going to be using. I don't know why I didn't cut that, but it'll be cut off. But you can see, here's our 12-pointer. I got all the gauges wired up professionally. Everything works. It's an awesome setup. And by using these um, is a very, very good idea. So what do you think of this situation right here? By using the 12-pin uh, the down system, by plugging all of your stuff in, uh, especially on a hot rod or a kit car. Uh, it's a plug and play situation and, and that's the way you want to do it. It makes it really easy if you ever have to, you know, do any kind of uh, maintenance, repair. Yeah. Say your light bulb burns out or something, oh my god, what do you do? Exactly. You unplug it. Instead of unplugging each individual wire, now we got my friend Pete's way, which is the easy way, the do-it-yourself way, the do-it-the-right way situation. Put the dash over here. Don't let it scratch. We still got to paint the top of that black. I might have you working on that today. This has got to be painted black because we're painting a two-tone. Yeah. All right. So there you go. Basically, um, it's an easy situation. It's a situation that says, look at my wiring harness. I like it. It's all organized. It's, it's all in place. If I ever have an electrical short, I can find it uh, on the fly. And it's very simple and uncomplicated to actually remove stuff when stuff needs to be removed. Uh, these are good to use on situations like I just showed you, plus possibly uh, stereo systems. That's a big situation. You can use them on stereo systems. You can use them on power windows, remote entry doors. Pretty much anything that you are wiring into the car that you might have to unplug or plug back in is a good situation to use this system right here. Now I want to go over these with you real quick before we go. Um, a lot of people are probably looking at those saying, oh I would have soldered those. I would have soldered those. Well let me tell you what. If you know how to use your crimp tool and you crimp them properly and crimp them right, you don't have to solder them. The crimp should last very, very long. Using the proper crimp tool to do a job like this is the way that you want to wire your car. That's where a lot of people come into a lot of problems is when they're crimping their butt connectors, they're not crimping them properly, and they're getting shorts and ground issues, batteries are dying out when the car's parked, this, that, and the other. Uh, but you know what, I'm getting into a situation that says that's, that's another day and another story, and we'll have to talk about that later. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, giving you tech tips, helpful hints, and secret tricks on how to make life easy for you and to enjoy doing what you want to do. We'll see you later. Take it easy. Do it right. Do it right. If you can't do it right and you're not doing it all, you're just fucking off and being a lazy ass.
Classes don't stop till you know everything. <laughs>